I wanted to give you a good picture here of the relationship between airspeed and angle of attack. There are two ways to produce lift or to increase lift in an aircraft. One of them is to increase our airspeed so we have more air uh, blowing over the wing. And the other is to increase the angle of attack of the wing. In other words, to tilt the nose of the aircraft up and to increase the angle of attack of the wing so that it is producing more lift. So what I've done here to show the relationship between these things is I have our Cessna 172 here flying straight and level using the autopilot. We're flying at 3,000 feet on a westerly heading. And we are currently at full throttle. So as you can see from the flight director here uh, on the left side there, you can see we're at 129 knots, which is actually pretty fast. Uh, not particularly safe for this airplane, but we're just doing this as a demonstration um, to, to show you the differences with this airspeed, the relationship with the airspeed and angle of attack here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the throttle on the aircraft and what that will do is decrease the thrust and it will decrease our airspeed. But what I want you to watch is what happens as the airplane tries with the autopilot to maintain that 3,000 foot elevation. You're gonna see on the right side there, the 3,000 feet elevation. You can see that right here, 3,000 feet elevation at 129 knots. What we're gonna ha see happen is our angle of attack is gonna increase. We are now a couple of degrees nose low because you can see that the dot here is just a couple of degrees uh, below uh, the center line here, the white line. And what you're gonna see happen is this dot right here is gonna rise up, it's gonna come up. It's gonna be pretty subtle, but I want you to see uh, that happen as we decrease the throttle on the aircraft. So here we go, I'm gonna bring the throttle down. And you can already see the airspeed start to drop down to 127, 126 knots. You see that decreasing right here. And so now we're down into the green arc and you can see the uh, autopilot now realizes, oh, I'm losing altitude and I need to do something about it. <clears throat> and so you see this angle of attack here, just, just slightly moving up a little bit. We're almost on the line right there, right now. <clears throat> down to 105 knots. Still maintaining our 3000 foot elevation. And you can see now we're just a smidge over the line here, over the center line. So we're actually in a slightly nose high attitude. Dropping to 97 knots. Going to decrease our throttle a little bit more. And we're down at about 87 knots. And we can see our angle of attack. We are now uh, about two and a half, almost two and a half degrees nose high on our angle of attack. I'm gonna decrease our throttle a little bit more. And we're still showing 3000 foot elevation. Now we have to be careful in the real world what would happen here is if we got our airspeed too low, we're gonna stall the aircraft because we continue to get that nose higher and higher and higher. Yeah, see now we're almost three degrees, pushing four degrees, maybe three and a half degrees right here. Angling up toward five degrees nose high. You can see it's really fighting to hold that 3,000 feet. And we're getting pretty dangerously close. Now here's one other thing we can do is add some flaps. And what our flaps do is they extend uh, the length of our wing and give us the ability to fly at a lower airspeed. Now I gotta quick get my airspeed back up, add some power before I stall out. Oh, right on the edge. But look at that, I'm up at like seven and a half degrees, nose high angle of attack, right on the edge of stalling. I'm going to try and keep it right there as low as I can before it stalls. But you can see just how high. We got that almost to 7.5 degrees of nose high attitude. That's a huge difference from about 44 
Oh, we hit it down to like 42 knots, and we were up at uh, seven and a half degrees nose high attitude. Uh, but we maintain our 3,000 feet elevation. So you can see uh, the difference between that and 129 knots at about a negative, what did we say, a negative two and a half, three degrees nose low attitude. So there's a huge difference. There's a huge relationship between angle of attack and airspeed. I just wanted you to see that. As our airspeed drops, if we're going to maintain our altitude, if we're going to maintain the amount of lift that we have, we have to increase our angle of attack. And you saw that happen here with our, with our Cessna 172. Here, I'm going to put some flaps back up, and we'll see that. I know our, our angle of attack came back down because I had some flaps, but I'm going to take those flaps away again. And you can see, watch that nose crank up again. Crank up high, crank up high, crank up high. Trying to maintain, trying to maintain. So that inverse relationship between airspeed and angle of attack. The more airspeed we have, the lower our angle of attack can be. The less airspeed we have, the higher our angle of attack will be if we're going to maintain the same amount of lift. I hope that makes sense. Um, and I hope this uh, helps you understand this, this concept. Thank you.